everybody, I'm back this week to do a sort of I'd call it a campfire treat. Why? Because I want to, it's my birthday, and I'm allowed to do any snack I want today. So, get yourself a couple of bananas and don't drop them. What you're gonna do? Actually, we're doing a microwave banana boat. I should probably explain why we're having bananas. Anyway, microwave banana boat. Banana? Knife. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your knife and do a little bit. You're gonna carve. Just be able to peel back one of the layers of the skin. Cat's trying to eat my scarf. So you have one of your legs. Don't don't take it off though. Just peel it back, and you cut yourself a little trough, I would call it, in the banana, which you are going to replace. But you're making the boat part. It can be a little tricky. So after you've properly gutted your banana, you've properly gutted your banana, get yourself some mini marshmallows, cat again, and um, either chocolate chips or a chocolate bar or basically some sort of whatever your favorite sort of chocolate is. Okay, just grab them. There's no even set amount of marshmallows. It's sort of dependent on the size of banana you got. So you're going to put some marshmallows in there. You're going to mix your marshmallows with your chocolate chips or your broken piece of chocolate. You stuff that all in there. You put it back in. You're not going to be able to fit in. All of the banana you cut out, but just put a little bit back on top. Snack as you go. You're allowed. Now, sure, this won't have the campfire taste to it that your regular banana boat was, but when it's getting to be winter time and you're not going to be able to be building fires out there. Those are a pinch. Okay. I'm going to recover with the banana skin. So you have a very fat banana. Then you're going to head over to your microwave. Make sure that's all pressed down. Pop it in for a minute. I just spilled marshmallows all over the place. My cat is so ridiculous. What she's trying to do is cook the banana through and melt the chocolate. And it tastes really, really good. And if you're like me, and in almost a little over two weeks, you're headed to New York for Comic Con. I'll see you there. Hopefully, you can find me. Get a little bit excited, can't help it. And if you want to make a second banana boat to share with someone, go ahead. Or if it's your birthday and you're just Deciding to sacrifice your diet for the day to have some fun? Make a second one. Well, mine is still a little gooshy. I'm going to do it for another minute. You may not have to. Your chocolate may be melted to your liking. I like mine really gooey and hot. 
So that's what I'm going to be doing. See, that, out? that one came out a lot better than my first one. All you're going to do is practice. Don't eat that. Sorry, yawning my cat. Not allowed to eat the chocolate chip. That would be very, very bad. And if you're wondering what kind of chocolate I'm using, I'm using Ghirardelli, the um, bittersweet chocolate, which is basically the yummy, yummy, really good uh, dark chocolate. Oh, uh, it's smelling. Oh, my God. oh, yeah, it's done. Mmm. That smells amazing, let me tell you. You'll be able to experience it for yourself when you do it. Let me get a fork. It's going to be really hot, but what you're going to do is peel back your banana skin. Might even toss it off of there. And you say you have an ooey gooey, ooey ooey mess. That, if you can smell that, it smells amazing with melted chocolate, melted marshmallows, gooey banana. And just try to get yourself, okay, this is going to be boiling hot. So it's a careful balance of you want to eat it while it's warm, yet you don't want to scald your tongue. But let's face it, how many of these episodes have I actually burnt my tongue on? Pretty much most of them. Oh yeah, there's five kinds of heaven. Marshmallow, dark chocolate, banana. Okay. Uh oh, whoa, whoa, good. So, hopefully I've shown you how you can do a quick, easy campfire snack any day of the week, any month you want. Now I get to make my second one here because, like I said, it's my birthday and I'm treating myself. I will see you next week where I'm going to do a special request. For a nice young lady that has requested raisin bread in a mug. Oh, I sp spoiled it. Oh, yeah, now you know what I'm doing next week, but I'll see you then. Until then, have fun. Start planning your costumes for Comic Con like I am. Sorry if I seem really, really excited, but yay, it's a once a year fun vacation. And enjoy your banana bits. Bye.